during our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about liquid versus dry fertilizer. When it comes to delivering plant food for any plant out there, whether it's in your garden, your lawn, or a crop, fertilizer, that's what plant nutrition is. And there are a lot of different forms of fertilizer that you could use depending on what kind of equipment you have to apply it to your crop. For example, if you have a dry spinner spreader available to put on your lawn fertilizer, you're probably not thinking about liquid fertilizer in a lawn situation. It's, hey, I've got a spreader so I can do that. It's the same thing on farms. Some farmers have sprayers, but they don't have dry spreaders, so they may be more inclined oh, okay. to use liquid fertilizer. They might, but let's face it, what we're really talking about here for the farm, because it's a big scale, is not the same thing as we'd be talking about for a lawn or a garden. What farmers are more interested in is two things. Number one is cost, number two is availability. And what I mean by availability is, if I put that fertilizer on for my crop, will my crop absorb it? Whether I'm putting it in furrow, and by in furrow, what we mean there is right along with the seed, am I gonna put it near the seed, or am I gonna spray it over the top of a growing crop? So availability has an awful lot to do with which product I'm going to pick, liquid or dry. Well, certainly, and farmers are looking at their soil as, well, is this a soil that's really built up in fertility and I can always raise good crops? Or is this kind of a poor soil that has been run down or just never really had much fertility over time? So farmers are also looking at, is that fertility going to help me long term or is it something that's just going to impact this year's crop? All right, so in terms of the dry fertilizer, that is not going to be available immediately when it's spread because it's still dry. It's going to have to break down and that's going to take moisture and it's going to take heat. If you don't have moisture and you don't have heat, well guess what? That fertilizer is not doing you a whole lot of good. It's just going to be sitting out there. Liquid, on the other hand, is already set to go. It is ready as soon as a plant root might hit it. So that is worth some money. And it's worth a lot of money if it's something that is needed very early in the season. Darren brought up, hey, if my, my ground is low on fertility, well, I know I'm gonna need lots of nutrients out of the fertilizer I apply right now. That's where the liquid really seems to pay. Well, here's one of the challenges though, is that a lot of the fertility that we're putting out is actually salt. When you think about potassium, All fertilizer for example, is salt. you're looking yep. at potassium chloride in many cases. Well, I want the potassium. I may or may not want a whole bunch of chloride, but that's how it's getting delivered. So when you're putting out a salt, you do have to be careful about when and where you place that around your plants. And that's where there's a big difference in the dries and the liquids. But as a general statement, I will just say if we're trying to avoid high levels of salt, number one, we cut the rate. And number two, we switch products. There are a lot of very low salt liquid products. We use a lot of agro liquid fertilizer on our farm, for example, and that's the reason why. We use that to help feed the crop. We use that with the planter. We use the dry fertilizer because it's cheaper, but we use that in the fall. We'll spread it on more of a broadcast basis, sometimes in a band, but we're trying to build the soil more with that. So feeding the crop and having something available quick, liquid's great. If you have to build and you really have to build lots and lots and lots of pounds, that's where the dry is often the choice of farmers because it's less expensive. Almost every essential nutrient that your crops need or your plants need can be found in a liquid form or a dry form. That's what we're talking about, liquid fertilizer or dry fertilizer. Either way, you can feed your plants. Well, you can also find herbicides in liquid or dry. We'll tell you which herbicides will stop our Weed of the Week coming up later in the show.